Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about the ukulele. In this video I am using my DV key model, and if you can see in there, model number two ukulele. These were made about the 1920s, 1930s, and I believe, I'm not sure, that this is a similar type of ukulele that George Formby used in the songs Why Don't Women Like Me. I'm not sure on that, I believe that's the one he used, but it's a similar shape, you'll notice that shape. It's a very small neck you may notice, not a particularly long neck, you don't go up to the 12th fret on a tenor body and it's very thin. Very useful for people who shall we say are overweight like me, you've not got much to lean over, you can hold it close to your body. So, while I'm using this ukulele, we'll do a bit more on the George Formby technique. So if you've seen the previous videos, I'll post a link at the end of this one to all of my George Formby videos, so, so check them out please. Now, we're talking about a few other little additional things that George may have done on the ukulele. In this video, we're focusing on the left hand, not the right. And we're going to be covering this. This is called the ping pong technique. Well, that's the name they used in the George Formby world. You can call it hammer-ons and hammer-offs, lifts, whatever you wish. But in the George Formby world, they call that the ping pong. Now, I'm moving these fingers out the way. In reality, they'd be here, but I'm just doing it so you can see. This is the ping pong technique. So I am doing the split stroke number one, which is down, catch, tap, down, catch, tap, down, up. This hand stays all the way through this. Now what you do is when you strum down on the one, you take your finger off, you catch the bottom string, then hammer it back on. Now that doesn't count as an actual note, you don't count that as an and, that's just a little extra note you throw in. Okay. You don't count that as an and of one or two or anything. You're throwing that in very quickly. So it's one and two and three and four and that stays the same. So this here. is what we're trying to achieve. So you go down with the finger on, you lift it up for the cat, then put it back on immediately. And then continue the rest of it. So it's down, off, tap, on. That's the... So it's down with the first finger, take that finger off, catch, back on, then tap the top. So if this stays the same, down, catch, tap, we're just doing that in between before we tap the top string. So down with it on, take it off for the catch, back on quickly for the that, and then tap the top string. So one bar now is So it's down with the finger on, take it off the bottom string, catch the bottom string back on, then the tap. strings, finger off, catch the bottom string, finger back on, then the tap, repeat, then a down up. So one bar now sounds like this. 
That's a normal split stroke. Okay, so you can do one bar normal and then throw the split stroke in. Now, you might say, what do I do if it's a G chord? Well, you do a G chord, it's always on the bottom string, the A string. So I'm lifting my second finger off there, I'm not sure if you can see that. Okay. Now on an F chord, you've not got a bomb string. But you can do it on the A string. So I'm using either the, the G string or the A string to lift off. Now in this case, as I've got nothing on the A string, excuse me, I've got my G string. So down, cat, so it's down with the finger, catch the bottom string, finger off, tap, then back on. So you can mix it up. So again, down through all the strings, Catch the bottom, take that finger off the G string, tap the string, then back on. Then a down up. So that's how you can add the split stroke ping pong effect together. So George would use a, this hand. We now know split stroke one, two of the fan stroke, and you just do these finger lifts if you're on, if you've got a a finger on the A string. You do it like that if you've got a finger, if there's no finger on the A string but a finger on the G string. And that is the basics of the George Formby ping pong sound. In guitar world, they call it hammer-ons and hammer-offs or lifts. It's up to you, but that's the technique he used to add a bit of variation to his playing. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpool Music School for more videos. The more thumbs up we get and the more subscribers we get, the more videos we will post. So until next time, take care, keep practicing, keep playing, and as always, goodbye.